Hello everybody, it's Hobbitses, and welcome to another lore video. In today's video, we are helping Victor get lucky. That's right, he is going to try and get some lucky finds. So, we have a deck that the entire purpose is to get Victor, get him super lucky, and get him a ton of buffs from lucky finds off of Paydays, and off of Inner Sanctum, and off of Profiteer. So we have nine cards total in this deck to get him Lucky Finds. Lucky Finds, of course, uh, it doesn't show what the random buffs are, but they're often, they're buffs like Fearsome, Overwhelm, Challenger, Tough, Spell Shield, along with some stat buffs. So all with all these in mind, he, we're using his uh, hex core upgrade. We'll get a random keyword, but the hex core upgrade, shiny noises. Um, <laughs> the hex core upgrade will not get him an upgrade that he already has or a keyword that he already has. So if he already has tough, the hex core upgrade will not give him tough. It has to give him a random keyword that he doesn't already have. So if we give him a bunch of keywords before with the lucky finds, so if we give him tough and spell shield and fearsome and challenger, the hex core upgrade is more likely to get him other things, namely elusive or scout or quick attack, all those really, really good ones. So that's the basic plan. Take Victor, buff the hell out of him and punch some people in the face. And we're going to accomplish this. I said, I already said using our lucky finds, but uh, also with using some protection tools, namely ancient hourglass as a two of. So this summons an exact copy of an ally in its place for the landmark. So Stasis Statue summon an exact copy of the obliterated ally. So all of Victor's stat buffs and keywords will stay on him when he gets obliterated by Ancient Hourglass. Very, very good card to save him. A two of a Soothsayer. Soothsayer gets Victor Spell Shield. And so if he has Spell Shield from Soothsayer, he doesn't get Spell Shield from his... Uh, his hex core upgrade and then for payday we can also use that to get him other keywords basically we're trying to flood him with as many keywords as possible so Sarah just gets him another keyword we have ballistic bots of course they generate more cards to augment victor up more also the lucky finds uh i forgot to mention lucky finds also give victor plus one attack because they are created cards so every lucky find we play is plus one attack for victor or ballistic bots or knee androids which we are running as well. So we're running the some of the augmented cards, the Android and Mechanized Mimic can both be good win conditions. The Android for already having elusive and Mechanized Mimic can copy keywords off of Victor when he attacks. We also have a one-off of give it all. Basically, if we have Victor with a ton of keywords, he can just copy it onto all of our other units and we can dominate that way. On top of that, we are running uh, some general removal spells, Mystic Shots and Get Excited. And three rummage for card draw because Ballistic Bot generates three cards. Or each Ballistic Bot can generate, you know, one card, but one card a turn of Ignition. So that's very good fodder for our rummages. And we're running two Rites of Calling in order to make sure we keep drawing our victors all day, air day. So that's the basic deck. It's a lot of fun. Let's get into it. Okay, we are going against Azir Irelia. No idea how well this will actually work against this deck. Uh, we might be able to get a cheeky, like, Victor instant kill. For that being said, though, we need to draw Victor, as he is our win condition. Mechanized Mimic is not. So hopefully we can grab a Victor. Not looking super great on the early turns. Ballistic Bot's not bad. Mechanized Mimic can also be a pretty big threat with her augmented body. Don't have a lot of hope for this uh, match here. Let's see, so we got a Neandroid. Android. Okay, we can potentially have some Neandroid Ballistic Bot power. Alright, Preservarium. Meaning that we will get a free attack here as he won't block with his 1 1, and our Ballistic Bot will do 1 damage. We are this much closer to winning. And so with Neandroid, because he doesn't have very many ways to kill units, just as like homecoming usually, we can Neandroid and we can go for a mechanized mimic Neandroid win. With, of course, our paydays. So we got our Neandroid coming online. 
He's attacking with Victor. Uh, we'll block one of these, and we can block a Victor as well. Take a little bit less damage while we can. And let's start pumping up these numbers. These are rookie numbers. They are two attack each. Crazy strong. Alright, he gets some more cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get Rite of Calling. Woo! So we can get Victor. The man, the myth, the legend himself is coming out to play. Uh, so we can get rid of Ignition in order to summon a Poro. So we can get rid of Ignition. Summon a Daring Poro. Daring Poro is also a creative card, so these guys get buffed from it. Pretty nice there. We will attack with our elusive units, putting on four damage before we kill off our Poro in order to draw ourselves a victor. Just like we Lots of sparring students. Kill. kill an ally. Draw a champion. And come out to play victor. And that's why we have the right of calling combo. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a, that's a lot of that's a lot of damage he's gonna throw out. Uh, we do have Victor. Don't need the second right of calling. Hopefully he doesn't have any blade dances, because uh, these things are gonna be big, big boys. Azir is at five as well. After one attack, he'll be at seven. If he summons a blade dancing unit, he can be at. Eight, not he'll upgrade if he summons a blade dancer unit. Hmm. <laughs> oh, like that. Jeez, Willikers, Batman. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Come on, man. What the f? What the f are these things? Uh, uh, okay, 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 we'll block, we'll block some damages, it's okay, we only took two, I think I just have to summon the Poro, so I have another blocker for these three, like I have to block all three of the Spartan students, do I die anyway? Nah, right? I don't die. Uh, well, I, ha I have to block all three of these. I'm down to five. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. Totally good. What the hell is this? Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Alright, Victor, you gotta help me out here, buddy. You gotta help me out. Hexcore. Gotta get something good. <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, tough? Alright, sure. Okay, so we have five mana right now, so we have six mana next turn. So we can play you with three mana backup. It's not the best. Don't get excited. I probably should have played Payday first. Or I should have played Mechanized Mimic first. I need to get a keyword like Lifesteal. Oh, never mind. Apparently we don't get that keyword. <laughs> Alright, I think it has to be Mechanized Mimic. Into a Payday on Victor. Hopefully we get like a Challenger maybe? Lucky fine! Let's do it! Uh, quick attack is decent, and probably the one we're gonna take, because makes them both have quick attack. Woohoo! I really need him with life steal. If I can get him with life steal, I can, I can think I can be okay with this. All right, so we got our. Couple units, they can block some of the smaller stuff. We can kill the Green Glade duo with a Get Excited, so that's not too, too bad, I guess. 
another victor. Okay, okay, we can we can death pew pew. That's okay. All right, kill that. Kill that. Do I have enough mana to do all this? Wait, I can go like this. Oh, they do three damage each. God dang it. Uh, okay, so they do three damage each. Then we have to... Alright, we are alive. <laughs> yeah, removal. Let's hope he doesn't have any Blade Dance cards. He didn't use any last turn, so I'm assuming he doesn't have any. But, you know, maybe he's just saving it. But it can't summon anything, because they're obliterated. Ha ha! Woo! Full board! <laughs> Whoever said this Victor spell was worthless? I, I did. I did. I definitely said that Victor spell was worthless. Many, many times I said that spell was worthless. Alright. Alright, don't draw a Blade Dance card. Don't draw a Blade Dance card. Please. Okay, that's good. That's good. We can come back. The comeback is real. The two- okay, okay, we have- Alright, alright. Okay, Death Ray Mark 2. Terrible. Absolutely awful. Uh, let's Payday first. We can upgrade Victor, and we increase our chances of getting Lifesteal. If- or like Overwhelm or something. Okay, Spell Shield. Uh, plus two health. Uh, 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 uh well, we, we like have to. We have to win this turn, right? She doesn't get the bonus health though. Victor does. Probably spell shield. Let's get more keywords, because keywords increase the chances of this being a useful keyword. That's not spell shield. Life steal. Life steal. Life steal. <gasps> he got elusive. The Victor Elusive, the lucky find, getting him the extra keywords, increasing our odds. This Azir Irelia player is totally going to get wrecked now by Victor. He did get lucky. Ah, and his luck will propel him to greater machinery heights. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's cute. Yeah! Yes! Whew. Not gonna lie, I was sweating that one a little bit. But Victor pulled it off. Alright, now we are going against uh, Kindred Zillion. So that's really interesting. Um, definitely thinking a go hard list. Oh, I love this. Fantastic, fantastic start. Ballistic Bot, Victor Soothsayer. Great, great, great. We have a Profiteer for one of those lucky finds. Probably could have gotten rid of the Profiteer, go for something else, but still not bad, not bad. Spell Shield really helps us. Uh, it doesn't help against Kindred's Mark, though, so that's we do have to be careful about that because we can't Spell Shield through Mark. Not too shabby thus far. Iter of Improvement. It's okay, we can copy a ballistic bot, get multiple bots. It's not bad. Double bot ain't bad. Double Soothsayer is pretty bad, unless he keeps popping Victor's spell shield. I am never going to attack into that. That seems dumb. Okay, we got a payday. I think I just make a second ballistic bot here. I don't really see a reason not to. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. Make a second bot. We can trade with the. I'll trade with you. 
He probably has like a vile feast or something, but that's okay. Alright, well not yet anyway. We have the right of calling, but really doesn't matter. So do we play Victor here? I think we wait to play Victor. I'm just gonna pass. Okay, he's taking the pass. I'm fine with that. Okay, we have some protection for Victor. He has a kindred, but that is fine. Join the glorious evolution. Uh, he can hit this attack. That's whatever. All right, now we start pumping Victor up. And if anything dies, this will get killed first. Because it is weakest. All right, regen. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so yeah, so like I said, you die, which means you get marked. That is okay. All right, sure. We are going to payday our victor. Get that lucky find going. Uh, Challenger seems pretty good, right? But I don't have any, but I will die just to Kindred then. And quick attack, quick attack seems nice. Yeah, well, yeah let's go, let's go for one more. Let's get more augments going up. Yeah, let's go, Victor. All right, sure, sure, sure. You killed one. But there will be more. Okay, let's spell shield our Victor. Keep him a nice and safe. Uh, we could... We could just profiteer. I think I want a hex core, though. I want to build up his hex cores a little bit more. What do we get? Lifesteal. Okay. We love it when they run. Victor is a very big boy. Okay, she got marked. Victor is going to uh, full heal us here. I don't really... Kindred's mark's annoying. Uh, it's more annoying that Victor got vulnerable without having tough or bonus health. We do have an Ancient Hourglass for backup. If he opens attacks, this can be annoying. We have to Ancient Hourglass now to keep Victor safe. We'll play our Inner Sanctum. Mm, unfortunately, he is going to die. Um, so he has to kill the unit for the mark to pop off. So if I kill my own unit, he doesn't get anything from it. Oh, we can have two victors! Wait a second, I can get double victor. We can get super, super awesome special victors. And they can generate two hex core upgrades. Hey, nice. All right. Woo. Okay, double victors. All right, first thing we got to do to stop Kindred's Mark, we got to play Soothsayer. Giving both our Victor spell shield. We'll play a lucky find on this Victor. Boom! Alright, Victor, what you getting? Uh, I do, I do kind of like tough. Tough is pretty nice. That really helps with the whole vulnerable thing. Alright, we'll go with the other one. Uh, we'll just try to super buff one, I guess. Bonus health, Challenger. Challenger is pretty nice. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, victors, victors, victors. All the keywords. What are the keywords I get? All right. All right, all right. More keywords. Uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of stuff. What'd you get? 
You just have Fury? Alright, let's uh, Profiteer. And we get another lucky find. Uh, buff. We'll buff the other Victor now. <laughs> Overwhelm. Ooh, probably plus two health. Overwhelm is nice. Mm -hmm. I'll go with Overwhelm. Look at look at this! Just look at the, look at this thing. <laughs> he has so many keywords. All right. <laughs> it's just so many keywords. Oh no! I wait. He chrono shifted me. I'm being chrono shifted. Wow. Wow. I got killed by chrono shift. Observe the price of ambition. Ah. Uh, well, I I honestly, I never would have thought I would uh, see Chrono Shift come into play in a, like a non Mono Fiora deck. So, bravo, bravo to this guy. I'm just gonna surrender there. Go, cool, good for him. We didn't have enough keywords. That was the problem. If we had more keywords, we we only had like. Uh, what, like seven keywords? That's not enough. If we had like another six keywords on top of that, if we had all of the keywords, I don't even know what keyword would stop, like, elusive? <laughs> Probably just so he couldn't block with Kindred. Oh no, I hooked Kindred. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere around that one. Okay, so is this a go? This, this is definitely a go hard list. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, Red Nation, Poro, Cannon, can both go away. Love to see the victory. We got a nice 2, 3, 4 curve with the rummage to help us with a little bit of draw here. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, see, okay, more rummage. Mm, don't really need double rummage. One rummage is fine. Two rummage is a little excessive. Don't give me a third rummage. All right, payday. Let's play our Ballistic Bot. I don't really mind curving Ballistic Bot and the Android Victor. That's pretty decent. Start having some big attack units. Oh, the most important ones are the Android and Victor to get their attack up. Honestly, might pay to the Android. Just like try to get it tough to go around Gohards. Alright, I will absolutely take that pass. We get Inner Sanctum. Oh... Inner Sanctum so good because we get Inner Sanctum into Victor. Uh, how many, do we have too many cards? Wait, so I'm gonna get one card from you and two cards from you. So if I play you, I'm at six cards in my hand. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfectly fine. Cause we'll only get plus three cards and we only have one, two, three, four, five cards normally. All right, I will also just keep passing them. I don't need to. I'd rather burn his mana than attack for a one damage, right? That doesn't matter as much. I wonder what he's doing with seven mana, though. I'm a little worried he's just holding mana to, like, insta-kill Victor with Vengeance. Okay, now out of Vengeance range, no longer matters. No more Vengeance. Everything else... Completely obsolete. Alright, alright. I see it, I see it. Uh, definitely hit Victor with something. Victor getting lucky. Boom! Overwhelming spell shield. Spell shield is really nice. I don't have any other ways to get him that right now. Get challenger plus two health. I kind of do like the plus two health. I think for this so he can actually trade. Yeah, let's go plus two health. He gets tons of attack, but health is a little more rare for him. Alright, my spell shield buff Victor. My terrifying spell shield Victor. Super, super scary spell shield Victor. Scary boy. That is one scary boy right there. 
Okay. Uh, the question is, do I want to play Nian? Yeah, I, I think Nian's fine. Uh, even the greatest mind like pets. That's that's a statement I can get behind. I'm not gonna explain why, but that's a statement I can get behind. All right, we got a hex core upgrade. What do we get for us, Victor? Ooh, scout. Okay, okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, bop. Victor is uh is. Turned out pretty freaking big. I wish he had a little bit more health. His health is a little worrying. Only six, so I can't really scout attack. We'll attack with Victor first. I can definitely attack once. Because he can't kill me with anything to the spell shield. He can trade a unit into me. Sadly, I cannot do that twice, though. But I can... Attack with both of you, I guess. You can't do this. It's fine. Okay, glimpse beyond. Sure. Acceptable. Got this unit out of the way too. Did end up trading with my ballistic bot, but that's okay. Uh, we have our Neandroid at still at full health, and more importantly, he has no more units to block my Victor. Another, Another Victor. Don't really need multiple Victors right now, but that's okay. Um, okay, parlay. So he is attempting to pop my Victor spell shield. And he did pop the spell shield. So let's see if we can lucky find and get him some another spell shield. Not spell shield. I guess we'll get him overwhelmed, but he's most likely just going to kill him. So we'll pass that there, because I assume a vengeance is coming down. Um, yeah, I'll end there. Again, like 90% sure he's just thinking about vengeance. We'll open attack with Victor if he wants the vengeance to avoid taking the damage. Yep, there it is. Just as I thought. Alright, so I can... I'll rummage away you and... I don't really need to get excited right now. Um, I can kill Twisted Fate Mystic Shot. Yeah, we'll rummage away you too. Profiteer and Pearl Cannon. Okay, that's fine. So we didn't waste our attack, because that was a scout attack from this victor. We now have a second victor, who will get upgraded because we can augment him with that. A new era of technology. Alright, what do we get? What's the magic keyword for today? Uh, ooh, regen. It's pretty good. Do I want to Mystic Shot? I mean, it doesn't matter if regen, right? Yeah. Hmm, unless I want to... I can Poro Cannon. Let's Poro Cannon the Rummage. Oh, there's zero cost Poros. Yeah, buddy. Hey, this is a lot of damage. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. I like that. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, I'm like, he shouldn't have anything to stop Victor, but I will stop him from drawing with a Mystic Shot. Get out of here. None of that drawing shenanigans. Unfortunately, Victor does not have Spell Shield, which means I am susceptible to things like a Runation, but he doesn't have Runation mana. Another oh, Poro Cannon, not great, not great. I would like to ideally like to Profiteer first, which it looks like he's going to allow me to do. Victor does know real value. This is this is a very savvy consumer right here. You see all these? These are all custom made parts. Very savvy. He definitely didn't play enough go hard, so like actually do pack your bags, so. Okay. That's neat. That's all his mana, though, so it's fine. Buff Victor up even more. 
Quick attack. Tough. Tough is gonna be good. Give him tough. It's a tough boy. Another profiteer. More profiteers. More profiteers. Uh, Victor gets spell shield. Yay. I think spell shield is what I want. Probably should have put that honestly on the android. So the android could survive a go hard. But I just like stacking Victor. Is he elusive? Freaking elusive. I think an open attack is probably the... I... I mean... Does he lose if he plays Ruination? So if I play Mechanized, and then he Ruinates, he goes 11. He actually loses if he does, I'm pretty sure. Unless he has a go hard. So we'll play Mechanized Mimic first. And if he does go hard Victor first, then I know he's setting up for Ruination, in which case I do just attack anyway. Which he loses. I don't think there's any way out of this for him. Pretty sure he just dies. The The only play would have to be he ruinates now and then he go hards. Okay. So he's go harding Victor. You know what that means. He has a ruination. So let's not give him that chance. Let's full attack. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Our 10 attack elusive kitty. Get him. Get him, the entry. Yeah, this is, this is a lot of damage. Okay, whale. Uh, whale does keep him alive. Down to four. All right, let's see the spell shield. Electroplating completed. Scout, oh my god, that would have been so good. Yeah, I think I still made the right play to play around Ruination. That being said, he very well could just have Ruination now. I'll be sad. Yeah, yeah. That is sad. I guess I just play my Poros now. Don't have another. Oh, we had another go hard. No. Dang it. What are your last two cards, dude? Alright, let's see. Go Poro, punch him. Yeah. Oh shoot. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna freaking die. Okay, it's a it's a kindred. Wait. Bigger dreadway! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> the dreadway was his own undoing. <laughs> oh. His own dreadway betrayed him in the end. How anticlimactic for him. So Victor wasn't the only ones uh, getting lucky. Our opponent was getting unlucky, which is a derivative of lucky, so it's close enough. But that will do it for today's video. Uh, very, very fun. <laughs> very, very fun and stupid deck. Highly recommend you try it out, as I do most things. Like, I wouldn't really make a video unless I thought it was interesting or fun in some way anyway. But, yeah, so that'll do it for today. Stay tuned for more Terra content, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!